Hey Bees Nation, welcome to Bees Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a full moon in Pisces message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this full moon in Pisces message. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? So, y'all, and this is for all signs. Um, the full moon in Pisces, I think, started uh, either last night or today. Um, and so, with that being said, you know, with this full moon in Pisces, I feel as though um, there could be some things that, you know, you're cutting out of your life. This could also uh, be that you're, you know, exploring your creative side. So, you know, you could be an artist. So you or, you know, you have, you know, some type of artistry gift. And so I feel as though, you know, this full, full moon in Pisces is going to basically nudge you to basically, you know, start to explore, you know, whatever um, artistic gift that you have. Because I feel as though it is going to, you know, take you to um, places that you've never been before. Um, you're going to see things that you've never seen before. But I'm also getting that in order for you to be able to, you know, go to these places, see these places, do these things, you're going to have to cut some things out of your life. Um, you know, with this full moon in, moon in Pisces and moving forward. But I do feel as though, you know, you could be, again, cutting something out of your life or that's what you need to do in this full moon in Pisces. There could be, you know, some, some information or some news that, you know, is going to kind of stun you. Or it might be that whatever this information or news is that, you know, you could be getting or that you hear. Um, it could be that, you know, you're not. Uh, I just heard uh, you already knew. So whatever this information is that is coming towards you or that you're going to hear, you already knew and, you know. You're not amazed at whatever this news is, but I'm also getting to, you know, that uh, you could be, you know, probably exercising more, e eating a little bit more healthier. Um, and also, too, you know, you could just be, you know, taking in gossip. So there could be people around you um, that are gossiping a lot. And so, you know, you could just be sitting around, you know, this toxic energy. You could also be cutting, you know, this out as well. You could be uh, cutting out, you know, thirsty people. Or you could be cutting out, um, you know, just eating unhealthy. Possibly, you know, cutting out, you know, um, drinking alcoholic beverages as well. So my third party card came out, but I'm also getting from this third party card because it is overindulging in things as well. And so, yeah, you possibly could be cutting out, you know, um, addictions, addictions to alcohol, addictions to, you know, unhealthy foods. You could be cutting out, um, yeah, overindulging in, you know, things that are low vibing. But uh, this is my third party card, so, you know during this full moon in Pisces, there is a third party. Um, and this is this is my information card as well, your, and your intuition. And so I feel like, um, you know, there is some information that you're going to be taking in about a third party. And whatever this information is, like I said, you're not going to be amazed because you are already going to know what this information is. Um, 
your intuition had already told you, you know, what was going on. And so you're not going to be amazed at whatever this information is. And I feel as though someone could be, you know, you could be hearing about someone cutting out, you know, a third party situation. Yeah. You could be a water sign or, you know, there's a water sign, you know, in your energy. Whoever this is, they definitely, you know, could be drowning in emotions. I'm also getting that, you know, uh, during this full moon in Pisces, you're going to be cleansing your energy. You could possibly be, you know, teaching your child how to swim. Um, for some of you, your child could be in some type of, I just heard, Junior Olympics. And so they could be having some type of swimming competition that they're going to be judged at. And I feel as though they're going to do great, whoever this is. I'm also getting in this full moon in Pisces that, you know, for those that have children, they could be, you know, overindulging in too much junk food. And so you might need to get them out of the house. You know, maybe they need to eat, you know, not so much junk food, possibly, you know, take them out swimming or, you know, uh, you know, just do something exciting to keep them away from, you know, the junk food. Yeah, <laughs> my spiritual journey card. It's also my traveling card. So some of you could be traveling, you know, during this full moon in Pisces. Um, but I'm also getting to that, yeah, you're leaving, you know, a lot of baggage behind during this full moon in Pisces. During this full moon in Pisces, you know, some of you could be walking away from a water sign. But you're on your you're on the right path. You're, whatever path that you're on, you know, at this time, in this full moon in Pisces, you're definitely on the right path. Um, but I'm also getting that there there is a a path that's getting ready to end for some of you. So you're getting ready to go on a new path on your spiritual journey, and so this could be involving travel as well. So um, for some of you, you could possibly be getting you know a new job. And, you know, you have to travel for this job. This is a part of your spiritual journey. This is one of the paths that spirit wants you to take. And, you know, you're going to be successful. It's probably going to make you emotional. You know, from in the beginning, it might be a little bit overwhelming. Um, but as long as you, you know, take notes, as long as you, you know, get all the information that you need, um, you're going to be just fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there is a, a third party that is attached to whoever this water sign is. And whoever this water sign is could be walking away from whoever that third party is. In this full moon in Pisces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm also getting, too, that, um, you know, if you're cutting things out of your life that don't no longer serve your highest good um, and you were using you were listening to your intuition your intuition was right to tell you to clear these things you know out of your life because uh, in this full moon in Pisces and moving forward again you're going to be going on another a different path on your spiritual journey and so um, you know your energy has to be clear in order for you to be able to be successful um, on this path and I do feel like for some of you, it is, you know, a new job, a new career. Um, for others of you, um, it could be, you know, that you're just walking away from, you know, things that don't serve your highest good because that's what your intuition basically has told you to do. Or is going to tell you to do, excuse me. So let's just hop on in. And y'all, these new tarot cards that I'm using, they're new. And so they're sticky. So you guys are going to have to bear with me until, you know, 
the deck gets broken in. Spirit, why is uh, cutting things out and exploring your creative side here? Three of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, you could have been, you know, waiting for your ships to come in for some of you. And, you know, you could have been waiting a long time. But with this full moon in Pisces, you know, your wait is over. I see that, you know, you are, you know, cutting things out of your life that no longer serve your highest good, you know, and this could be people, this could be things, this could be places, but whatever, you know, these situations are, I feel as though they've been in your life for a long time. And I feel as though, you know, <clears throat> you've grown a little bit, you know, um, from when you first started your spiritual journey up until now. Um, but the fact of the matter is, Spirit has so much more for you guys, well, for us. And with that being said, you know, we've wait, waited long enough, you know. Some of us, you know, we probably didn't want to cut certain things out, certain pe people, certain places, you know. But in order for us to reach, you know, this goal, in order for us to, you know, be able to start on this new path on our spiritual journey, you know, we can't wait any longer. We have to go ahead and, you know, cut, cut, cut the shit pretty much. Three of Wands. But I'm also getting two that um there is someone, you know, that you could have po that you could have possibly waited for for a long time, or this person waited for you for a long time. Um, they could be, you know, cutting something or someone out of their life <clears throat> to come towards you for a new beginning. Whoever this is, I feel like it's a masculine energy, you know, and they, they're definitely wounded. They're, they've definitely been through a lot. Whoever this is, they, they are watching you. And with that being said, they're, whoever this is, they're cutting, you know, with this full moon in Pisces, they're going to be cutting, you know, things out of their life that don't no longer serve their highest good as well. But I feel as though there there is some type of blockage, which is this third party out here that's really uh, getting cut out. And so, <laughs> your intuition told you something, you know, about this third party and, the, and whoever this person is. Because um, this is my information, this is my knowledge, this is my gossip card, this is also my health conscious card. And so, with that being said, I feel as though, like I said... Um, you're not going to be amazed, you know, you're not, it's going to be like, okay, I already knew this, you know, whenever this person, or whenever you find out that this person is cutting out whoever this third party is. But I'm also getting to that, you know, there could, could be some gossip about this third party or gossip about you or gossip about, you know, the person that is attached to your energy. What's this information, Spirit? Mm. Wow. The lovers came out two times. This is two sixes. Wow. What does this mean, Spirit? The Empress. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, you know, your energy. You know, you can vice versa it. So it can be the Emperor. Um, whoever this person is, um, they could definitely be, you know, um, needing to choose more healthy food as well. But I'm also getting that there is some gossip about, you know, you and your divine counterpart. So whoever this is, um, definitely could be a water sign or they have it in their chart could be your uh, divine counterpart so it could be your twin um, at the end of the day uh, there could be some gossip going on about you and your person or you and whoever this masculine energy is um, but with that being said I feel as though you have a spiritual connection 
with whoever this person is. And they know that you're the empress or the emperor. They know that you are a boss. And so with that being said, um, you're going to get some information, um, you know, about your divine counterpart. But I also feel as though your divine counterpart is going to get some information about you. So it could be the fact that, um, you know, you've went from a queen to the empress. And so maybe you are not in communication with whoever this masculine energy is or feminine energy, vice versa. It. Well, they're going to get some information about it, about you, you know, progressing in your life. But I'm also getting to that um, this is for sure your divine counterpart with the two lovers out here. Um, whoever this person is, they are with this third party or they're, you know, attached to this third party some way. And for a long time, they thought that whoever this third party is, was, you know, the person that they're supposed to be with, but they could have, or they're going to get some information from spirit um, that basically tells them if they didn't know that you are, you know, their divine counterpart. Third party overindulging. Yeah. For those of you, you know, where uh, when I was talking about your children uh, eating too much, you know, junk food and sugary stuff, um, someone probably is going to have to rush, you know, their child to the hospital. Um, because at the end of the day, the Knight of Swords is here. And if you can see, that's like, looks like a doctor something like that and so yeah definitely might have to you know take your child to the hospital or to the doctor but when it comes to this third party yeah they're mad they're mad so this third party could find out that you know this person is cutting them out and they're and, and it looks like that they're mad and want to come towards whoever the empress is or the emperor yeah, Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're mad because uh, whoever this is 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 ending it with them. It's cutting them out to possibly come towards you in this full moon in Pisces. But I don't understand why they're mad at you. And what I'm getting to is that, yeah, they're, they want to come towards you because they're mad at you to possibly, you know, cause some type of ending in your life. But I'm also getting to that, um, when it comes to, yeah, your kids, um, or it could be you overindulging, you know, in unhealthy foods that might need to go to the doctor or something like that. Because yeah, with the 10 of swords here and there, something could take place really bad. And so, with that being said, um, yeah, just, just, just watch the intake of the sugary foods, unhealthy foods for your kids and for yourself. Maybe, you know, you can try to make your kids, you know, a nice, healthy smoothie or something like that, but, or you, you know, take it how it resonates, but, you know, all the unhealthy stuff, it needs to be cut out because it could... You, let me show y'all. So y'all won't think I'm making nothing up. Alright, so we have my third party card. Overindulging, you know, overeating, overdoing it. And then we have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So there we go.
Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yep. So whoever this third party is, yeah, they're mad. Because, you know, they're being cut out of someone's life. But they're also mad and they want to end you because... You know, you're the Empress, but you're, you know, in the Queen of Cups energy. So you're a boss. And then on top of that, you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your independence. You know, you're focused on, you know, you pretty much. And so whoever this is, they're overindulging in, you know, basically being obsessed with you. I don't even think, you know, they're obsessed with whoever the person is. I feel like they're obsessed with you. But I'm also getting to that, you know, this it could be this Queen of Cups, you know, that is this third party. But I'm really getting that the that whoever this third party is, they're mad because this person is ending it with them. But they're also mad because, you know, you're beautiful, you're you're talented, you know, you love yourself, you know, your self worth, you know, you're the Empress, you're everything. And so going into this full moon in Pisces, you definitely might have an issue with the third party. My intuition was right. Mm, four of Wands. So for some of you, your intuition was right that, you know, this person is married. Um, but your intuition is also right about, uh, you know, your stability in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, for some of you... <clears throat> You could have a younger young child, you know, um, that is not in the grade that they're supposed to be in. So, like, you could have a 14-year-old that's, like, a senior now. The fact of the matter is that they did what they needed to do, and they're definitely getting ready to graduate, whoever this is for. Um, congratulations to whoever this is for because they are young. But I'm also getting, too, that, you know, some of you do have some, some, some young teenagers that are getting ready to graduate from high school or graduate from college or take a hat resonates. And if it's about choosing a college, uh, whatever college your child, you know, their your intuition was right about whatever this whatever information you're going to receive about this college or this school. It doesn't necessarily have to be a college. Let me put the camera down. Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, and you know, uh, whoever's intuition was right about you know this school, this college, whatever this is, um, you're gonna get some uh, some communication from this school, this college, or whatever. Um, you could also, you know, be getting some communication about, um, I just, somebody's graduating from a real estate school or something like that. And so I guess there were some evaluations or something that, you know, had to take place. And so you've been waiting for that. This is going to boost your new beginning. And so you will be getting some communication about that as well. Whatever this communication is, it has something to do with the school, with real estate, with the house, um, something like that. But communication is coming in. And for some of you, if this person is married, you know, your intuition was right. Yeah, they, they are married. But they do want to communicate with you about moving forward. But I feel as though um, with this chariot, let me show y'all. Definitely looks like police, right? So, you know, you could be getting some communication about uh, this person's stability or this person's marriage um, from some from the law enforcement. So... I don't know what that's about. Or these people 
are you know going to communicate with the law enforcement about you what in the yeah let's move on Drowning any emotions cleansing energy yeah ten of wands ooh, ooh we okay thank you spirit so going back to this eight of wands and the chariot whoever this uh third party is they are definitely trying to project some type of um legal issues on you and so your intuition could have told you that this person was trying to set you up or blackmail you or something like that yeah whoever this is that your person or whoever this person is could possibly marry be married to the third party yeah they're basically trying they're basically giving the police information false information about you possibly you know to keep the person that wants to be with you stuck with them stuck from moving forward Mm -hmm. and ten of wands yeah because whoever this person is they're drowning in, in emotions and again this could be a water sign or um, the person that wants to come towards you is a water sign or they have it in their chart either way it goes um, whoever this third party is they definitely could be trying to cause you you know burdens and stress ob obstacles and challenges um, you know, with law enforcement or whatever this is, or just, you know, trying to stop you from moving forward or stop the person from coming towards you. Because whoever this person is is drowning emotions, I feel like it's the third party. But it could also be your person because I'm feeling like whoever this water sign is or, you know, if it's not a water sign, they have it in their chart. They're hiding behind, you know, burdens. They're hiding behind their stress. And I feel like they're under judgment. And so basically, you know, they have to basically be they have to face the truth at this moment in time. And so that could be why they're emotional. But I'm also feeling that. Uh, during this full moon in Pisces, you're definitely going to be cleansing your energy of, you know, stress, you know, of things of that nature. You definitely could be, you know, uh, possibly doing some type of fast. Some of you um, could use, you know, some water aerobics that will help to, you know, because I'm feeling like some of you ha are you know having back problems is what I'm getting and so you know water aerobics could help you know to heal that um, and so you could try that first if not then you probably need to go to the doctor but when it, going back to whoever this person is they're definitely hiding behind their you know their burdens and stress and they definitely are facing some type of truth and it could be that they, you know, want to communicate with you, but they can't because the Page of Swords is here. But someone definitely is trying to, you know, get you wrapped up in something. And whoever this person is, they think they're slick. But they're getting ready to be under judgment as well. Because, um, yeah, somebody's watching you and they're definitely gossiping about you. Or this is the, the person that wants to be with you. That they're watching and gossiping about. Spiritual journey. Too many spirit. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. You could be yeah uh, walking away or somebody's walking away from somebody. Yeah, they're ending something with someone in this full moon in Pisces. Um definitely blocking out negative toxic energy. Definitely protecting themselves, definitely guarding themselves from a karmic relationship, a karmic situation. But I'm also getting to, you know, that on your spiritual journey, there is going to be a lot of things that are going to end in your life. And it's because, you know, you're doing the work, you're protecting, you're in the Seven of Wands energy, especially all the toxic people. You're definitely walking away from it, you're definitely ending it. Um, you're definitely, you know, on the right path with doing that. And I feel as though the, the, the next path that you take on your spiritual journey, um, because you have ended everything, you know, out of your life or you, you know, you're in the process of doing that in this full moon in Pisces moving forward. Um, there's going to be a lot of, you know, toxic things that try to come towards you because technically you're ascending to get to be able to get on a different path means that you've completed a path and you're moving on to a new one. And so that's ascension. And so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of toxicity that comes your way because you've ended a lot of it out of your life. And so basically spirit is basically saying, just keep moving forward. You know, you're going to succeed. Yeah, I can't make it up through of swords. Yeah. You're going to succeed. All right, y'all. So we got the warm up. Let's get started, started. So yeah, you know, in this full moon in Pisces for, you know, for the most part, it's just about using your intuition, trusting your intuition and cutting things out that don't serve your highest good. Even the things that you let linger around because you didn't really want to cut them out. You have to cut them out in order to be able to end this path and get on the new path that Spirit wants you to be on. So, let's see. What are we doing? Spirit, what else do we need to know about this full moon in Pisces? Yin and Yang. Door to value. Mm. Storm warning. Yeah, yin and yang, the lovers. Spirit, why is yin, yin and yang here? Definitely a divine counterpart situation. Page of Cups and Ten of Cups. So you could have a child, you know, with your uh, divine counterpart. But I feel as though they did something childish. When it comes to, you know, having a family situation with you. So they could have went towards a childish feminine energy. Um, whoever this person is, um, whoever, whoever your divine counterpart is, they could definitely be laughing, you know, at your emotions. So they could definitely be laughing. If you, you know, 
try to talk to you know your person about them doing whatever childish thing that they did against you they could be laughing at you or they feel like you're laughing at them take it how it resonates but you know they do have some type of apology for you it's it's an emotional apology um and this is someone that you know you again could have children with or you know just had a family situation ship with door to value Ooh -wee. page of pentacles and knight of wands y'all so and i said it like that because i just got the i just yeah spirit just said that this person was doing some illegal stuff before the cards even came out for some money so when I said that this person do, did something childish, uh, yeah, they did. Look, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. And look at the Knight. Looks like a police officer to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, whoever this person is in this full moon in Pisces, they're possibly going to get caught. Um, your divine counterpart trying to you know do some things for money and so with this knight of wands here looking like a police officer um definitely illegal whatever this person is 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 gonna do or is gonna or is doing and yeah yeah they're gonna be caught red-handed spirit just said and so you know if you were wondering why this person hasn't came towards you that's why that's why they're sold to take action because or that's why they're going to be sold to take action because they're going to be caught red handed yeah storm warning mm -hmm. and so with that being said because you don't know what's going on with this person and I'm, I'm letting you know now that they're doing something illegal for money and the police is involved that's why they're slow to come towards you um, they're in the storm but I'm also getting too that whoever this third party is um, when it comes to you and your divine counterpart yeah they're doing some deceitful stuff to have this ten of cups with you know your divine counterpart and so, you know, I feel like, you know, you're, you're, you know, financial, financially abundant, you know, you're doing everything that you need to do, but whoever this third party is, whoever this childish uh, feminine energy is that could be laughing, you know, at somebody's emotions or just laughing at a, a Pisces period water sign. Yeah. There's some evidence with this page of pentacles. Page of pentacles, evidence. That this childish feminine energy or childish masculine energy, take it how it resonates, presented to law enforcement or, you know, law period. And it is about some money. And so I'm feeling like whoever this childish person is, they were definitely trying to cause some type of storm in your life, some type of tower moment in your life with this Ten of Swords and this Queen of Cups. But I'm also getting to that, um, yeah, whoever this person is, they basically were just trying to do this to, because, yeah, they're being cut out of someone's life your divine counterpart but they're doing this with the page of pentacles and the knight of wands to basically have the person that wants to come towards you cut you out of their life but i'm also getting to i done said i'm also getting 50 million times that there is some evidence that you know law enforcement is going to um come across um And it's going to bring cause an ending to this childish person. I'm getting a lot, y'all. But your divine counterpart does want to apologize, and they do want to be in a family situationship with you. Um, 
they could possibly want to, you know, give you some type of money. Or, you know, they want to come and bring forth some type of evidence from the courts that basically solidifies that they've ended it with, you know, whoever this third party is. Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. high priestess you know something or you're going to find something out and it could be about whatever this page of pentacles and knight of wands is let's see page of pentacles and knight of wands ah the lovers in reverse yeah So, I, yeah, I feel like whoever this childish person is, um, again, they could have tried to say that you did something that you didn't try to lie. Um, and it could be about some type of money. And so, yeah. Um, but they, who, if they try to lie on you, they're definitely going to get caught. But you know that um, your person isn't supposed to be with this person. But with the Page of Pentacles and Knight of Wands, I feel as though your person does want to bring you some type of evidence um, from the courts that basically says that, you know, they're no longer in this situation that they were in. The lovers in reverse. They're no longer in, um, you know, this marriage or whatever. But you, you already knew, you know, you already knew that. Your person wasn't supposed to be with that person. If they were married, you already knew your person wasn't supposed to be married to that person. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm also getting too that your person really does feel like you're laughing at them because they are, you know, in this uh, situation with this person. And you could have possibly told them that that's not where you're supposed to be, but they didn't listen. And so because you're living your best life, they feel like that you're just laughing at them. And so now they want to come towards you to bring something, some evidence to basically tell you that they've ended it with this person. But you're focused on yourself. And you you, you, you already, you know, you, you're focused on yourself. Um, you already have the information that you need as far as, you know, what's going on with the situation. And so with that being said, there could be some evidence that somebody is taking to the police. Um, and you possibly don't know what this evidence is, but it could cause you not to even want to be, uh, you know, with your divine counterpart. Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah, because whatever evidence they tried to give to that they're going to try or they already have given to, you know, law enforcement to try to end you. Yeah, you're still standing. And again, yeah, it's going to cause you not to want to be with your twin. Nine of swords. I mean, nine of wands, excuse me. Yeah, I feel as though whoever this third party is has tried to take you out plenty, 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 many a times, but it didn't work. You're wounded, but you're still standing. The High Priestess. Yeah. So, yeah. Your twin feels like you're laughing at them because they're in that situation ship. You know, there is some information that you do know, but there is some information that you don't know. Um, this King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, definitely is watching you. But they do have someone else that is watching you too. Um, this masculine did do something foolish for money. And the fact of the matter is, it's going to be, you know, it's going to come out. There is some evidence. But they do want to take a leap of faith towards you. The lovers in reverse.
Eight of Cups. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. He's watching you, and he did do something foolish. He walked away from you and went to this uh, uh, third party, which is not his divine counterpart. And so with that being said, there is some evidence that was presented to the police, and it is about this third party, the lovers in reverse. And so with that being said, whenever this evidence comes out, your person could be walking away from this third party. Nine of Wands. Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your person, I don't feel like your person really knows um, about whatever this third party is trying to tell the police or trying to tell some official. But when they do find out, and it is about money, and when they do find out, they're going to walk away from this third party. Because the fact of the matter is, you know, the third party is trying to end you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And I feel as though your person, you know, is is pissed off with this Knight of Swords because with the Nine of Wands here, you done been through a lot with, you know, your divine counterpart. You done been through a lot with the Wheel of Fortune. You deserve good karma because... Not only, you know, were did you go through a lot, but you still stood tall and you still persevered to become the Empress. And so, yeah, it's going to piss your person off. Yeah, Six of Cups. It's the person from the past. King of Wands, the fool. That's, you know, the third party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then we have the lovers in reverse and the lovers upright. So, yeah. Your person knows that that's not who they're supposed to be with. That's why they're walking away from them. After they find out that basically this person was trying to blackmail you or set you up. He's watching you wanting to take a leap of faith towards you because, yeah, he knows that you're his divine counterpart. Eight of Cups, Three of Cups. Yeah. Strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's walking away to come towards you. He admires your strength. And basically, I feel as though he needs, you know, your strength. Um, he needs for you, you to basically... Um, help him to, you know, become strong on the inside is what I'm feeling. But, you know, you have been this, you have been your person, your uh, divine counterpart's strength. You have been, you know, your divine counterpart's uh, backbone. And that's why he's walking away from this third party because he needs your energy. The lovers. Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. One more. Page of Wands. Death. Yeah. So yeah, he wants to take a leap of faith to come towards you, his divine counterpart, so that you guys can, you know, be in this financially stable family situation. Um, with the Page of Wands, there is some good news coming about an ending. Strength. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's, he's, he's strong enough now to walk away from this third party and to basically, you know, bring justice to you. Basically balance the scales out. You know, and have this new beginning in love. Ace of Cups. 
the chariot. <sighs> there goes another police officer again with the justice. So I'm feeling like, yeah, the police, some the law enforcement, the courts are going to get involved. And they're going to basically help this, you know, twin flame situation in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Because, you know, this is your twin. And so if spirit wants you guys to be with each other in a family situation, it's going to happen one, one way or another. Y'all can walk away from each other 500 times. The 501st time, you know, could be the t could be the time. But not every twin flame, you know, comes together, is together. But those that spirit deems have to be together, yeah, it, it just is what it is. And so with justice here, ace of cups and the chariot, yeah, you guys are destined to have this new beginning, period. And if, for some of you, if your divine counterpart is in jail, they could be getting released. The empress. Yeah. Six of Wands. The person feels like you deserve everything, to be honest. Temperance. And they're mad, or they're going to be mad once they're found out the information. Yeah, the hangman. That, yeah, this person put out the Three of Pentacles, the person that they were in a karmic contract with. Yeah, and they put the information out. Mm hmm. They put the information out so that they can have a new beginning with your twin. Yeah. So let's clear the canvas one more time, y'all. So we can get the rest of the message. Yeah. So we're going to keep these out here. So, you know, this is a twin flame situation. Um, the door to value could be opening up for you guys. Um, during this full moon in Pisces moving forward but there is a storm warning so you know there is some chaos of brewing yeah door to spirit um, but I feel as though spirit definitely is intervening um, on this storm morning, but I also am getting to that, you know, you're on your spiritual journey And so spirit is opening the door. So spirit is basically allowing going to allow you to handle this The way that you need to handle it on the on a spiritual level though Yeah, woman honing and coin So yeah, whoever this woman honing and coin is I feel like that's the third party and so because this person is trying to do whatever they are doing Yeah they're getting ready to have a come 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 to spirit moment. Whoever this woman holding a coin is. Yeah, you know why? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yin and yang. All tied up. So yeah. Your divine counterpart definitely is all tied up with this woman holding a coin. Door to value. And this woman, yeah, door to value and cornucopia. Mm -hmm. um, whoever this woman holding the coin is, they could be just dangling material things, you know, in your person's face. But I'm also getting that your person is all tied up in this situation because of money, because they're doing illegal things with this woman holding the coin for money, just to basically be, have abundance. Storm warning. Yeah. Man holding a heart. door to spirit so yeah so you know the third party could have told um, law enforcement or some you know 
officials what this uh, person was doing, what this man holding her heart, this masculine was doing. Um, and so that created this storm warning. With that being said, um, with this door to spirit and contract, yes, this is a spiritual contract between you and you know your divine counterpart. And whoever this woman holding a coin is, is definitely trying to create obstacles and challenges um, for you and your twin. But I'm also getting that um, you have a spiritual contract with your person. Um, whoever this woman holding a coin is, they have, you know, a karmic contract with your person. Your person went in blind when they, you know, signed this contract with this woman holding a coin. the sun so yeah whoever this woman holding the coin is she's willing to do anything to be happy including being deceitful why's deceit here spirit yeah her and her friends yin and yang all tied up mm -hmm. and to keep your person stuck they definitely have a strategy definitely have a strategy door to value cornucopia Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the strategy is, again, to dangle materialistic things in their face to keep them attached to them. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, yeah, your, your person is uh, about to take their mask off. And that's what, and that's who's going to cause a storm warning. This man holding a coin, the masculine or the feminine, take it how it resonates. Storm warning, man holding a heart. Oh, I said man holding a coin. Wow. Man holding a heart. financial constraints mm -hmm. yeah so your your, per, your your person is taking their mask off but I feel as though um, the strategy was to basically you know tell your person that they had all this you know money all this wealth just to keep them attached to them but the fact of the matter is <laughs> this third party is having financial constraints like a mug and so with that spirit uh, excuse me the storm warning yeah your your person is basically waking up uh, to you know the truth of the matter door to spirit contract mm -hmm. envy and so with that being said um, whoever this third party is this woman holding the coin they definitely know that your person wants to be with you they definitely know that um, they're in a karmic contract with your person so with that being said, because you have a spiritual contract with your person, that is, you know, under God. They envy you. They envy the fact that regardless of what they do, it's they can't do anything to keep your person stuck to them. Only for, you know, a little while, not for a long time. Woman holding the coin in the sun. Man holding a coin, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, she envies uh, whoever this woman holding a coin is, she envies you. And so, when it comes to, you know, her happiness, she's going to do whatever she can to basically be happy with your divine counterpart. But I feel as though something's going to be revealed to you about, you know, your person and this person. You see, community... Yeah, appreciation. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, this person envies you. Because you're all by yourself. They're a third party. You know, you're independent. You're beautiful. You're definitely in Nine of Pentacles energy. And they're over there, you know, basically being toxic with their friends and carrying on. Yeah, magician in the mirror. Ain't no telling what they're doing behind your back. Ooh, look. 
Divine Masculine, Masculine Energy. Release from jail or prison. Come through, Spirit. Remember I said that earlier. Spirit, put one uh, on yin and yang, all tied up in strategy. New beginning and start over. So, yeah. Your person does want a new beginning. They do want to start over. But this third party wants to keep your person all tied up um, with them. And so, yeah, they're planning and plotting on what to do to, you know, basically have a new beginning with your person. Door to value, cornucopia, attachment. Suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your person, again, does want a new beginning. They do want to start over, but they're suffering in silence because basically they were um, fed an illusion. Like I said, the, whoever this third party is basically told them that they had everything and they basically have nothing. Storm warning, man holding a heart, financial constraints. Divine protection, spiritual protection. And so, yeah, you're protected from storm warning. You're protected from, you know, financial constraints. Um, but your person definitely is suffering in silence. And so, you know, if this third party is trying to do something to you, to your finances, which I feel as though they are by whatever they were doing with the door to value and the, um, the page of pentacles and the knight of wands, you're definitely protected. Door to spirit, contract, envy. Yeah. Union coming together. And it is protected. Divine protection, spiritual protection, union coming together. No matter where the what contract, you know, this person is in. Mm -hmm. And this could be the uh, third party's energy too that's suffering in silence. Yeah, because they basically painted an illusion and now your masculine is basically taking or your person is taking their mask off. And 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 realizing that Basically, this person basically manipulated them to stay stuck to them because of materialistic things. Woman holding a coin. The sun. Man holding a coin. Twin flame. So, yeah. Or you could be, you know. No. This is your twin flame. So, either the woman holding the coin is or the man holding a coin. But it is your twin flame. Um, and whoever this third party is that would do anything to basically be happy with, you know, your person. Um, yeah, they're playing on your emotions or, you know, both of your people, both of these people, your person and the third party, uh, is playing on your emotions because I did say that something is going to be revealed to you about these two people. And that's for some of you. Deceit, community, appreciation. Yeah. So yeah, this third party definitely was doing some deceitful things to cause your person to be codependent, attached and obsessed to them. And the fact of the matter is, you know, your person definitely appreciates the fact that you remain who you were, even though they got married for stability, pretty much. New beginning strategy. I can't make it up. If we go activity caught on camera so for some of you to in order for this third party to get have a new beginning with your person they created a strategy to basically um say that you did some type of illegal activity or they did some illegal activity and they try to say that it was you but the problem is it was caught on camera so their plan failed suffering in silence attachment mm -hmm. yeah pure intentions so yeah Law enforcement courts, official people, yeah, they already know what's up. They know that, you know, you don't wear a mask. You're not attached to anything. 
Your intentions were pure this whole time. Divine protection, spiritual protection, financial constraints. Person from the past. Can't make it up. So you're definitely protected um, from this person from the past. Whoever this uh, third party is. That definitely trying to cause you financial constraints as well. Union coming together and envy. <sighs> yeah. So for some of you, your person is hiding secrets from you. For some of you, your person is, you know, um, ending it with this third party. For others of you, your person is still in this contract and they could be hiding secrets from you. So they could be telling you, you know, that... You know, they want to come back together with you, but they could be hiding secrets. But I'm feeling like that it is this uh, woman holding a coin that is hiding some type of secrets from you. And it's about them trying to set you up. And so, yeah, with that envy here and time is up, yeah, their time is up, period. Uh, playing on your emotions, man holding a coin, toxic energy. Toxic energy. Focus on the wrong things. So yeah, it's a third party that's basically playing on the masculine's emotions. That's why the storm warning was there for the masculine. So yeah. But this is definitely your twin flame. And your twin flame is definitely be being played by this toxic energy. Because they're focused on the wrong things. And the wrong things is you. <laughs> Appreciation, marriage, and stability. Yeah. And so with that being said, whatever this third party was trying to do to you, everything is backfiring on this third party. Especially, you know, for those uh, where your person married this person. Their marriage and their stability is getting ready to take a turn for the worse. In this new moon in Pisces. Yeah. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Somebody needs to be brave now. Definitely an air sign. And yeah, the same air sign is the one that's hiding secrets about your twin. Or your twin is an air sign and is hiding secrets from you. Either way it goes, whoever this air sign is, they, they need to be brave now. Yeah. Oh, y'all. Identity theft and identity fraud. So whoever this third party is definitely could be an air sign or you could be an air sign. The secret that is hidden from you is that this person is creating creating identity death, identity fraud deceitfully, this third party. Yeah. And your person could be seen through the fog. Yep. Yep, yep. And so that could have been the last straw for your person. Because again, your your person don't like people picking with you. That's one thing. Um, you know, regardless if you don't talk, communicate with your person or whatever, you don't want to have anything to do with your person, they still love you and they still want to protect you and everything. And so with that being said, you know, whatever the secrets are that this uh, third party is hiding, I feel like it's they're trying to hide it from your twin as well. And so your twin is going to find out. And that's why they're going to kick this person to the curb. And they're also going to find out that um, this third party was basically threatening you with physical harm. So that could be, you know, why your person was mad earlier, pissed off with the uh, Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because whoever this per third party is, they definitely facing a lot of addictions. Yeah, and now that your person is seeing through the fog, this third party is scared of the unknown. They're scared of what's going to happen. They're having anxiety and depression because of, you know, this identity theft and identity fraud um, that your person is going to find out about, the threats of physical harm that your person is going to find out and so about. So they're going to have anxiety or they are having anxiety and depression because their time is up. They're no longer going to be able to be codependent, attached, and obsessed to your person because... 
everything is going to backfire on this person. And they're going to go through the disaster, loss, and chaos because they were focused on the wrong things. And they want to continue to live a toxic life and play on people's emotions. Mm hmm Yeah. And so if your person had many options in love, their time is up now. Or your or or the secrets are coming out about whoever this woman is holding coin that had many options in, in love. Well, they're worried and scared about that now because again the, the tables are turning. Yeah. Yeah. And this air sign, because it fell on top of this air sign and an identity theft and fraud and deceit. Threats physical harm. Wake up call. Yeah. The masculine energy could be, you know, going through um, some type of spiritual awakening. That could be why he's taking his mask off. That's why he's unattaching himself to whoever this is. Because we have spiritual power and spiritual gifts. So, yeah. And so... Mm -hmm. For some of you, if your person, you know, is involved with this third party and coming against you your spiritual power and spiritual gifts are going to bring you some information um, about you know yeah some these people lying I don't feel as though it's about I don't feel like your your person is um, trying to set you up I feel like this third party is trying to set you up and I feel like yeah somebody's getting a wake up call it's either a masculine energy or this third party or both. But I'm feeling like the third party is getting ready to get a wake-up call about this masculine. Because the masculine definitely could be going through a spiritual awakening. And seeing through the fog is here. And so with that being said, this third party could have, you know, tried to lie on the masculine. False allegations, false charges too. And so that is where that release from jail or prison. Because for some of you, your person is locked up. I can't make it up, y'all. Can't make it up. Yeah, false allegations, masculine energy. So, yeah, your masculine probably is getting a wake-up call because basically somebody lied on him to get him locked up. But that being said, yeah, legal issue lawsuit. So, again, this third party lied on you and possibly this masculine. They're worried and scared. And look who it is, the water sign. Jail, prison, mental hospital. Yep, transformation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the person definitely could be going through a transformation. Anything else, Spirit? Yep. Reject uh, somebody's energy to protect yours. Because, yeah, they're trying to blackmail somebody and set somebody up. <laughs> yep. And I feel like your masculine definitely is going within now. And realizing that this third party is definitely playing games. Yeah, and your person is possibly ready to speak some truth. Why? Because they're now facing the truth. Yeah, there definitely is some type of investigation taking place. Yeah, secrets are coming out. <laughs> definitely are. So y'all, that's all I have at this moment for this new moon in Pisces message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.